Hi everyone, welcome back to the second episode of Cornfield Education with co-hosts Brian Kessie and Leonor Fontanez. Uh, joined with us today are two guests. We have Brian's sister. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Michaela. What else? Like just scooch up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what else do I say? Um. What do you want to say? Ashy. <laughs> um, I don't have anything else to say. Okay, and we are also um, joined by Hannah Fay. Hi. That's such a cool name. Oh, thank you. I, I rhyme her name to Santa Fe from Newsies sometimes. Yep. Um, so we brought my sister in to guest us today. So she'll be the teacher of today's episode of Cornfield Education, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. primarily because she's TikTok famous, actually. Would you like I'm to- I'm really not TikTok famous. Would you like I to just, explain how you got TikTok famous? Okay, so- She's like, I just have a million the followers. The truth is, I'm just really funny. That's what it is. And so <laughs> I like comment on TikToks and people like them as they should. Um, but yeah, I'm just like funny. Can, so you, can you explain the specific comment that got you TikTok famous over um, the last week? Well, the specific comment that got me TikTok famous was actually about that So Sweet Life of Hannah Montana. We could talk about that another day, but this man was basically hiding money. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's a great place to hide the money because he hid it in like the CD thing. Basically, I said that it was like the best crossover in history. And I know the the MLK one. Oh, that was yesterday. That was yesterday? We are wasting time. We're really not, don't we? We're not. Okay. (laughs) I basically, I saw a TikTok about how your initials like say how you're gonna die and mine are mlk so i was like yikes um (laughs) so i commented you guys will never see me on a balcony hundreds of likes in minutes (laughs) so i just wanted to bring a tech talk famous guest star on um who's very passionate about high school musical more passionate than anybody i've ever known Mm -hmm. um the conversations we've had about just decoms in general have been very extensive (laughs) we were talking about let it shine last podcast which is how Mm -hmm. high school musical got better brought up Mm -hmm. So, um, today's question that we're all wondering, which is the best high school musical and why? Yes, objectively, what it, not... What makes it objectively the best? Yes, objectively the best. Okay, Kayla, um, this is now your yes, podcast. So, um, let's just talk about, like, generally. Okay, did you, did, before, you, did you watch all of them? Yeah, I Okay, did. so what are, what are yeah. your opinions before we get Okay, down? so, um, for those of you that don't know, High School Musical is... Um, a Disney Channel original movie, and it's starring uh, Troy Bolton, played by Zac Efron, everyone's like favorite man. <laughs> Hannah's currently <laughs> my <laughs> all-time favorite crush. It's a little ever. too beefy for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think me. so. He looks like yeah, he has a dad bod. He gives now. me Roblox. He <laughs> 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 like, very, very much Roblox. He's very much like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but it's basically starring him, and um, he meets this girl, Gabriella, uh, Vanessa Hudgens, and they fall in love with the idea of music, and from this they also fall in love with each other. And that's basically the general plot. Um, honestly, okay, so like, best bops, probably the second one. Sure. Second yeah, one. Okay, you were onto something. <laughs> Good opinion, right Second opinion. Second one has, Correct. has Correct. the best bops. Um, the first one for me is the most cringe. Um, I think it's cringe because it's so iconic at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I could agree with that. The yeah, first one's true. just the most iconic. Doesn't make it better, that's it's just true. iconic. That's true. Um, and then the third one, it, I don't know. It's to there. Me, that one's okay, but it doesn't really have like a specific antagonist and plot. You know, the third one's definitely a movie. Mm-hmm. But the third one, the, the antagonist of the third one is senior year. I feel like that's the, sure. that's, the that's actually a great opinion. Because senior year is very um, scary. True, I, true. The third one for me is a little all over the place. Yes. It's a little, there's not enough focus. The, exactly. For me, the second one has the best plot. Mm-hmm. Just because the first one is kind of Did you do like, your nails? It's been a minute, dog. It's okay. been like, <laughs> what? I got them done Saturday. Okay. I, I never noticed. That okay. Um, the first one has the, oh, I lied. The second one has the best plot. I think the most well thought out plot. The first one is just kind of a little predictable. And the third one, I realize there are so many plot holes. What? Doesn't make much sense. There's so much that so makes much no sense. That doesn't make any sense for And one. also in the first movie, can we talk about how like Gabriella and Troy's friends are both terrible? 
they all have ter- they have terrible friends Horrible. who actively wanted to manipulate them because they wanted to do something that wasn't along with the status quo. Yeah, it, and then they're like, "I'm sorry." I don't, see, like, I, don't, yeah. I, don't I don't, I don't see any nice people in the first one. Honestly, the only nice person in the first one, Bull take it, Sharpay. Because who was Sharpay really hurting? All right. Honestly, Troy, wa- just- Troy walking that edition with nothing prepared, okay. and he gets the lead role, whatever, yeah, whatever that yeah. musical was. We don't know to mm-hmm. this day. But we, we never right. know. But what we did Sharpay do? Because she was riding in her own lane until somebody showed up out of like Bumble Nowhere. True. Okay, oh. the truth is Sharpay's justified. Ju- exactly. She exactly. Is. I feel like Troy is the real villain of this entire thing. But I think we'll a get lot of that. people think that. I think a lot of people think that. Like, as we've gotten older, I, I don't yeah. think a lot of people think that Sharpay is the actual antagonist. Like, like Sharpay, she can't be the antagonist when you really look at it because, like, she didn't do anything wrong. wrong. She didn't, she simply didn't want, much like um, their friends, didn't want them joining in on something. And especially because Gabriella comes in and she's the new genius girl. Exactly. And then is up. yeah, and then is suddenly just like, Oh, this is mine now. I like this. Like that's not really fair. Yeah. When you really look at it. Mm-hmm. And she wasn't even better than Sharpay. Like, objectively was it's, not better it's than It's giving her. me problematic. It's very much so. <laughs> um, yeah. So would you like to get into what you have prepared um, in terms of educating us? Okay, well yeah. I have like a, like a brief breakdown of each movie. I don't know if we need to go into it like that. Go ahead. Um, yeah. Okay. So. Because I think Hannah needs a slight reminder. Oh okay. yeah, I haven't seen the movies in forever. <laughs> okay. So high, high School Musical one starts off New Year's Eve, mm-hmm. right? Miss Gabriella's inside reading. Troy is playing basketball. Both their moms are like, "You guys are bums. Go to the high, New Year's Eve party." Mm-hmm. And so they go, start singing. Cue start start something new. Whatever, whatever, whatever. They which, leave. Which is so weird. Can weird. we talk about that song? Weird. No, here's my opinion. That is one of the first, that's one of the best opening scenes that's ever, that's ever I, been I think it's a good scene. opening scene. Yeah, I like but it. But when you look at bit. it, like, Troy is like, oh my god, I, I can't sing. Like, what? Like, no. Well, he can't sing. And for then, that first movie, <laughs> um, for that first movie, Zac Efron doesn't sing. It's and somebody then, else that gets voiced that's over. That's why I yeah. think that High School Musical 1 is out of the running for best movie. Yeah. Because the he, main character doesn't even sing. He's not even singing. Mm-hmm. And then, like, Gabriella's just like, oh, I can't sing. But then by the middle and end of the song, they're both like, it's this, like, whatever. And it, no, that is not likely to how actual teenagers would react. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The flash mob made more sense. It reminds me of the vine that was like, oh, my God, I hate singing. Like, when do I even come in? Like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then school starts up next day. Or maybe not next day. Uh, it's winter break. Whatever. Gabriella and Troy see th- each other again. They, she like is basically like, yeah, I moved here. I think they're in Albuquerque. Yeah, Albuquerque. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, Albuquerque. I I don't oh, think no. New, is it in New York? New Mexico. A B. Yeah, I thought it was New Mexico. Yeah, um, New Mexico. When I can't think, I slap myself. Oh my god. So basically, okay, and. I always found this so weird. Mm -hmm. Did they sign up for that theater class, or does everyone have to take drama? Right? Did they all show up? They all just sit in in a drama class. For the next two years or however long. Why? When they they don't like it. It, That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Because Miss Darbus is their teacher for like three years. And also, they hate Miss Darbus. something on Miss Miss Darbus ran that program to the ground. She period. did. Somebody tell me different. She period. was like, me different. she was like, all, early is on time, on time is late, and being late is unforgivable. Like, Miss Darbus, pack it up. I don't like exactly. that woman. She was never. the worst. Like, she literally, her and the uh, basketball coach, who is oh, Troy's dad, yeah. both perpetuate the stereotypes that drama kids and athletes are enemies. Imagine, which is not imagine true. ruining your students. Straight exactly. Up. Imagine scarring them for life. Like. It, it just perpetuates such negativity. So, Troy gives Gabrielle a little tour. They stop in front of the little podium that has, like, the sign-ups for the auditions. Mm-hmm. Walk in Sharpay. Then Sharpay is like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> because like, this is my area. Um, and so, out of fear, Sharpay and Ryan do a quick little Google search on Sharp- on Gabby. Mm-hmm. I, I never understand that in movies. Like, oh, yeah, I, like, searched up on Google. You can't find any information about me. <laughs> You yeah. can't find anything about Which me. is so, like, she obviously was, like, that, like, like smart. Like, and, like the only the only me. way you find out anything about, like, Troy is if you, like, pulled up to his house and, like, peered mm-hmm. through the curtains. I feel like it's the only way you're doing it. But mm-hmm. carry on. That's so weird. Okay. And then they, like, look her up, find out she's, like, 
part of the decathlon, or no, they find out she's really smart, so they get Taylor McKessie to get her, <laughs> oh my god, Taylor McKessie's the best, okay. Her, her name is Taylor McKessie. Yeah, yeah that's, that's for right. another discussion. Mm-hmm. That's really, um, okay. Um, they get Taylor to like get her to do the whatever scholastic, yeah, the classic whatever. One. Um, and then Gabby and Taylor end up being best friends, which mm-hmm. I guess Ryan and Sharpay did not see that coming. But then, um, cut to musical auditions. Oh no, I skipped Get Your Head in the Game. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That is. That is. Is it the best? It's, it's the best, in my opinion. In that first in movie? In the first movie, in the, the best. It's the best. Movie. The best, like, production, the best song. It's. Mm. Okay, production values through the roof. <laughs> sure. All right? The basketball coordination, sure. the basketball choreography. Yes. But I wouldn't say I it's the never. best song. Yeah, I don't think so. I would say it's the best song. What, what do you think the best song is? It, we're all in this together because it's not that. No. I won't Hold say on. it's Let that. Let me see what I wrote. Bob to the top was fun. It's not the best. That's what I've been looking <laughs> for. What I've been looking for. Or stick to the status quo. Not you. What? Okay. What? Okay. Just stick to the status quo. <laughs> stick to the that status quo. That is a good one. I like that one. But I don't know. I don't know. What would you say the best song in High School 1 is? Now I got to look. Keep, See, keep, like, keep giving us the, yeah, keep it going, keep going. She, she. Um, so, uh, oh, wait, again. Hannah, what do you think is the best, by the way, before we move on? I mix up the songs <clears throat> with, sure, the, it's okay. Yeah, I haven't, okay. I haven't watched the movies in a very long time. So, like, I know I'll the give songs. you an option. Okay. Because we can throw a few out. Okay, Breaking mm-hmm. Free. Okay. Yeah, I was just free. about to say Breaking Free. We have We're All in This Together. Mm-hmm. We have Start of Something New, the very first song. We have What I've Been Looking For, um, Stick to the Status Quo, that weird ballad that she sings in the middle of the... Who? The, weird, the ballad in the middle of the movie. I Gabriella? Yeah. What? It's like not good. Um, <laughs> when, <laughs> is it when... Oh, I know what you're talking about. When her and Troy are like arguing or whatever yeah. because she Yo, heard... These- they she heard always, him like that is she, not a healthy relationship. No, it's not at all. Toxic. Wait, is it gotta go my own way? Gotta go my own way is the second. No, we're, we're gonna get to it, that. It's called, she loves that. She it's loves called that when there was that me makes and no you. Sense when there was me and you. So, so it's so weird because weird. like they argue because he was like a, a faker and was like, oh, I don't care about her. Like whatever. It's it's just us. It's yep. the team. And then she sings this terrible song. Straight up. Where it's clearly <laughs> not her singing on the lower notes because she can't hit the lower notes. And it was so obvious. Imagine me singing and then just Peter cutting out when I went to the lower yes. notes. It would be jarring. <laughs> that is what it, it would be. That's weird. literally what it was. <laughs> it was so bad. It would be, it's giving me unnatural. Like, they put her name on this. She did <laughs> so not sing that whole thing. Oh, There's no way. Yeah, it was a ghostwriter. <laughs> it was a ghost singer. No, no, at least do like, featuring blah, blah, blah. Yes, like, on the learner. That's also part of the reason why High School Musical 1 isn't that good. Carrying because, the mm-hmm. song. Like, if emotional points don't live up to, like, the emotional points in 2 and yes, 3. Because, at all. like, uh, uh, I don't know. We're going to talk about Scream, and we're going to talk about Ben on it eventually. Mm-hmm. But this is, like, the main emotional song and it's not even that I'm not seeing good. where the, I'm not it's seeing not. where the, the, the girth is. Exactly. Yeah, she, she, no it's like she gave it. she gave nothing when she was singing. <laughs> she really, it. Didn't give a really she was like really I three minutes of my life that you wasted. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And great. also I never like I mean I did realize it, but like like high school musical is like an actual musical. Like it's not Is it actually? It's not right. just like like I don't know amp farm vibes where they sing like a thirty second clip of a song mm-hmm. no, and then everyone's oh, just full like songs. yeah yeah, yeah. And it was full songs then you have to go to the like go to Spotify to find like the full version yeah and then it's, it's the way calling <laughs> on the monsters was one of the best things to come out of our generation calling yeah. all the monsters is oh, such a Dude, that music jam. video was so well produced it is oh my it's God. so <laughs> <laughs> for one like what was the budget for this? <laughs> So oh good. Like, oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. That was so. <laughs> Never good. moved your neck like yeah. that again. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um. I feel like we're at the climax. Last like falling action. Musical auditions. What I've been looking for. Gabriella runs in last second. Mm-hmm. Uh, Miss Darvis is like, you can't audition. She yeah. I'll sing with her. And Miss Darvis is like, no. And then mm-hmm. Kelsey, being the klutz that she is, Kelsey is <laughs> such a queen. She literally goes and drops her stuff on the ground, and then they're like, oh, I'll help you. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. If that, that scene in that movie. Looks so bad because <laughs> Kelsey is obviously like she trips they, over nothing. The direct the director is like drop air. it. And she's just like yeah, she's <laughs> just like the weirdest. Air. Thing. Whoa, the <laughs> trips over air, Miss Kelsey. And then <laughs> so, so then 
<laughs> like Troy and Gabby help her pick the stuff up, and then she's like, "I guess I'll play for you." And like, yeah, she's like, "Do you guys want to hear how the song is really supposed and to then go?" So like, she starts singing, mm-hmm. and then they start singing, and then Miss Darvis is like in the back because she's always like that. <laughs> You'll yeah. see in, she, in three. Yo, she is always she's snooping always on always somebody. Like, she's like, in mind three, your business. In three, Miss Darvis is like in the back while Troy is literally having his breakdown during yeah, three. Three. Yeah, with And Miss yeah. Darvis is like, and Miss Darvis is just like, "Oh, you feel bad? Why are you here? Just like, did I invite you to my mental breakdown? Did I get?" You didn't purchase tickets. Exactly. Miss Darvis. Okay. Oh my God. And then... Running your program into the ground. So Wells can never. Miss Darvis is like, gives them a callback for auditioning after the audition. Yes. I'm and then, literally... That, exactly. If I was sharp, no, I would... If I was a musical I would be annoyed. Exactly. I'd be like, you, exactly. they, they didn't she audition. Had, oh, I have such a strict rule. You can't go against exactly. the rules of the theatra or whatever. Exactly. Like... You literally just went against it because they were so and good, and back? then you gave and then you gave them the lead to the musical, to the winner, or <sighs> yeah, to the winner <sighs> musical. Like, bro. <laughs> so then, car- callback list is posted. Sharpay's angry. Um, stick to the status quo. I'm oh, sorry, but again, what is this musical? Does anybody know? What do you mean? Oh yeah, no, we never talked about it. No. All we know is that Kelsey you know, wrote know it. The gag she is made the that thing. I realized yesterday. The show never. Or the music, the movie, never shows the musical. Yeah, the, the ending scene is the audition. Yeah, mm-hmm. the whole like, thing. We, we never see the yeah. actual musical. So like, you, we don't get any of it in its entirety. Yeah, the, the whole the whole thing is it's a musical about never. No, like no, I think the there's one, I think there's one song in this entire musical. Well, we know what Old I've opinion. been looking for is part of it because that's yeah. the same thing. There's at least there's like two, at least that we know. Anyway, plot, like, hole, plot holes aside. Yeah, plot holes aside. <laughs> um, stick to the status quo. Taylor and Chad scheme, so because like they're trying to get Troy. I don't mind and Chad. I co- I had a thing for like not a thing. It, not, <laughs> Bro, not a thing. I no, had a, thing. a strong <laughs> inclination towards Corbin Blue, and he's on Broadway now. He's like he's like sure. doing his thing. We love Corbin Blue. Love Corbin. Like he, he's in Kiss Me it's, Kate. It's also pretty crazy how you can see how much every character has grown, like as a as a performer. Oh yeah, yeah. and like, honestly, like vocally, his, his, no, his performance in um, first of all, High School Musical two and Jump In, Jump In, Jump please, In, one of sorry. the best comeback stories of all time. <laughs> sorry, prove me wrong. <laughs> okay, um, they plan a hidden camera in the locker room. They get Troy to say, "I don't want." Which is definitely do illegal. Definitely, what the heck? Definitely. Um, they get Troy to say, <laughs> "I don't want to sing." They didn't. They obviously didn't care. Like, they didn't they obviously said, that. Nah. Like, just producing the movie. Like, yo, yeah, let's put a video, <laughs> video camera in the locker room. That's not going to freaking And Kenny Ortega was just like, no somebody way. give this guy a raise. Like, what? <laughs> That's a problem. A lot, a lot of this is giving me problematic. Wow. So then, uh, Taylor, yeah, Taylor shows the video of Troy saying he doesn't want to sing with Gabriella to Gabriella. Gabriella's like all in her feelings. And she and immediately starts crying. Like, it's not that big a deal. Immediately. And, and then she goes on her whole stupid ballad really not even that good um Sharpay is angry convinces Mrs. Darvis to move the audition date because mm-hmm. okay I kind of skipped this Troy after so this is what I hated they doubled back Taylor and Chad <laughs> they doubled back because they're like oh, you guys aren't acting normal yeah because you got in their way so exactly like, so like you seem back. depressed why maybe because yeah. you sabotaged me yeah fault. they were like What's wrong? As if you didn't sabotage <laughs> something that could make me. Did laugh. I do that? Like, they what? double back, get Troy to go apologize to Gabriella. Everything's okay, and then Sharpay's annoyed again mm-hmm. because now they're happy. Mm-hmm. So then she's like, "Miss Darvis, move the auditions to like mm-hmm. while the championship is going on." Miss mm-hmm. Darvis, like, okay. Because <laughs> if you didn't know, Troy was the captain of the basketball team. Sure. He's captain. Yeah. yeah. He's and whose recommendation? His father's. Father. No, they all voted him because he's so good. He's really not. He's oh, not any like, good. Here's, here's my question: What is this musical, and are any of them actually good at basketball? They okay, they're like pretty good. The basketball, the real life. Mm-hmm. Like you're you're you have to separate. Like, they're living, and mm-hmm. they're taking part in a musical. Mm-hmm. But the whole thing is a musical. Which is so weird. They they constantly are, I'm like, yeah. they're constantly, like, yucky, musical. And they're yeah. one. <laughs> so funny. Like, pause. <laughs> so, Sharpay's angry, whatever. Oh, yeah. And then Taylor and Gabriella, this is looked over. They, like, hack the school system and get it to black yeah. out. What? They literally, oh my gosh. Because, like, Taylor's, like, a, a genius. And, and Taylor literally, like 
plugs the school into like the fuse box or Straight something up. and literally hacks into it and causes a whole blackout, a whole blackout so in, they can audition yes so that troy can so that troy what? can lead the championship game and like go to the audition extra, extra and then, to say and the then least. gabriella sets off like some chemical thing because she's a science nerd oh yeah so that just there's pulling like a random box. stuff yeah I remember right yes now. and so random. that she can run and they can both do their audition yeah. and then miss darbus is still like you guys are late get it together <laughs> so, like you're late <laughs> does, she ca- does she care at this point though because she really must not. No, because... She was probably stalking on them the entire time. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. Because she Yo, was... No, wait. When Chad was taking that uh, video, when the locker room, she was probably like, let mm-hmm. me see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah no, that. because she, like, they get there, and, and then they were like, we're here for auditions, we're here. And then she was like, you're late, no. And then all these people start running in, which they somehow what? knew about, <laughs> which is like, that doesn't make any sense. And then they start performing as if it's the 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 closing like piece of the musical. The so then the Breaking roster. Free comes out, yes. and it's like, okay, no, no, no. okay. <laughs> yes. sure, amazing song. They end up getting the leads. Mm-hmm. Sure. And also, imagine that many people coming back to your callback, call audition, callbacks, like <laughs> literally callbacks, huh? Huh? Wait, that last scene is the callbacks? Yes. That, those are the callbacks. Those are the callbacks. That's <laughs> not the actual show. <laughs> like, they did, like, full production. Why is production? But, Why like, can, but, can no, the but then Sharpay, that makes Sharpay no sense. and Evan literally didn't, like, they got, like, Bop, the with, the, yeah, they got Kelsey's, like, clunk, clunk, clunk on the piano, no spotlight. <laughs> like, they gave Troy and Gabriella full Different spotlight, treatment. a yeah. background. Giving me prejudice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> and then Miss Darbus literally announces that they're leads. Act what? Yes, which is so. Huh? Take some, act like you had to make a tough Start decision. Out on mass exactly. Email. At least pretend. <laughs> like, wait. And also, like, I don't know. Maybe if you gave um, Sharpay and Evan the opportunity to have the full, like, show, like. Yeah, maybe. Because maybe the top was a number. And uh, that is. That's such a great number. Can we talk about the performance of the performance. Evan? Oh my god. It, it gave me energy. I liked it. So then basically Troy wins, Gabriella runs back to the decathlon somehow. And then she also wins. Like, yeah. And then they win. And then we're all in this together. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is like, no, we're not. We're, <laughs> we're really. Not. How is Sharpay singing that song? Exactly. She's, she's dancing and she's like, I don't yes. like you. Exactly. I don't they like never, you. They never resolve their know. issues. Yeah, because she... They literally took the leads from under her, and yes. now we're saying we're all in this together. Exactly. Pause. They they Pause. snatched. Like, homie, the lead. we still got beef. This exactly. ain't over. They snatched That's the leads have from under her. That still confuses me to this day. That don't like, make why is Shakwe like dancing with them? And exactly. Them together? Right. It doesn't make any sense because Every, she was no, never their friend. Um, Every it's giving me it's giving me very much um, problematic. Let's move on to two because yes, there there are very many. This is angering me. And two is it, a ma- two is a masterpiece of cinema. Masterpiece. Two, yes. okay. two has the best problem. If you can't tell, two oh, yeah. is the best. We've already answered the question of the podcast. Mm-hmm. You can School leave now. If you need. <laughs> School year's over. Most iconic intro. What time is it? The time of our lives. Yes. It's so good. So good. Good. <laughs> so good. It's okay. so good. So good. The vibes in this music. Them running man. through the hallways yeah. literally what I thought. High school that's what I thought. My yes. end of my. Yes. That's what I thought. I the thought end of my fourth grade year was gonna be like. And nobody started dancing. Nobody had their sheet music memorized. Nobody had the dance with them, right? She was like, I'm doing this on my own. Okay. No, I paper. really, exactly. Yeah. I thought everyone was going to be like, screw this yeah. and throw their papers yeah. up in the that air. Is not I don't re- need that anymore. It's very disappointing. I'm very disappointing. break out Summer. in a song. Summer. It's giving Summer. me a reality check. Summer. 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 Like, oh my so God. So Chloe's like, I'm going to I'm gonna find a summer job. Gabriella's like, I'm going to stay home. Mm-hmm. Sharpay. Um, is like, a manipulator through this entire movie. The whole Can we movie. talk about it? But does she not deserve revenge? Does she not deserve revenge? She does. She, she does. does, because also in the Winter Musical, when Gabriella was the lead, which she didn't deserve, um, she literally, like, got help from Sharpay. Like, Sharpay helped her to better her voice and to sing the numbers better. <laughs> and, to and like, the low notes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so someone don't got to come, come and save you. Like. Exactly. So and then, then Sharpay spending the summer at Lava Springs. Yes. Lava Springs. Yes. Um, fabulous. 
an amazing number. That's, that's a nice number. I'm, I'm, I'm there for it. I'm there for it. But Shadi's like, I still need Troy. So she exactly. gets him a job, and then Troy's like, pause. Honestly, Troy can get him a job. What has this person done wrong? <laughs> what has she done wrong? Somebody please tell me. No, because like you're not gets wrong. Gets him a though. paying job and at a nice exactly. country club. It's the way Troy's using Sharpay, because Troy's like, I'm not working here unless you get Gabriella a job. Mm -hmm. What? No, what? because it, it was so. It was Obviously, so it has affection for this boy, and this boy holds it over her head. Yeah. No, because uh, let me let me think. I think it was she put in like a request that oh she's like oh I recommend this guy mm -hmm. to work, and then her, like the like manager or whatever calls him and it was like I've heard good things about you, mm -hmm. come work here because her parents literally own the country club, so they have to do what she says. So then it's like oh he got a job. But then he's like, oh, well, I need a job for all these people who need yeah. to work here. He gets his entire basketball he, he team puts, and he puts his the girl. Ent he puts the entire town and, on his back. Exactly. He's, and his he girl. He fed the whole he hood really for no bench. reason. He got the bench a job. Exactly. <laughs> like, and you, no, here's my thing with that. Imagine, imagine you, like, imagine a, a guy asks you out and then he says, can I bring my entire basketball team? Yeah. That's. Are you, no, sorry. You ask out a guy and he's like, can I bring my entire basketball team? Yeah, that's oh, literally what Imagine happened. hurting Sharpay's feelings. Yeah, and then Sharpay was like, literally, what are they all doing here? I They're didn't like them. Like, as she should have, though, because what? Like, exactly, you're ruining my summer. So at, as at she should have, she was like, what are they all doing here? Fire them. Mm -hmm. And the manager was like, no. Which is like... Which is like, you don't need that much staff. You so really true. don't. You're losing because more money than you're them, making. Because half of them sat around. Like, and did nothing. And did, nothing. did nothing. I didn't see half like of these Like, the one people. guy was always cooking, which is Zeke? like... Zeke? Zeke, I'm there for. Zeke, mm -hmm. I like. His creme de Okay, but And then, his thing with Sharpay? Zeke was better for Sharpay than Troy ever was. Exactly. Oh. They just made life difficult for them to work this out. Amazing number. Um, to work this out, then... Work this out is one of the best songs. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then... Somewhere along the line, there's like announced that there's gonna be a talent show, so Kelsey's mm -hmm. like writing music. Yeah, and then Kelsey writing... also works. There. Kelsey's yeah. a, Kelsey's a, she's first the, of all, where did she come from? Annoying. Yeah. She's, she's giving me annoying. Right, <laughs> you are the music in me. Convinces Troy and Gabriella to sing Which it. Is a good song. Sharpay, um, yeah. Little does Sharpay know, or little does uh, Kelsey know that Sharpay's trying to get Gabrielle. Sharpay is trying to get Troy. To sing, you're the music. With, in does some, does anybody club. manage this country club? Because all I'm hearing <laughs> is a stack of malpractice who's up to the high heavens. Exactly. Just the manager, and he's basically Ooh. at like the whim of of Sharpay. Oh, Sharpay. Oh, because real quick, can we get yeah. like a time check? Yeah. We're at 27 minutes. No. Um. Oh, it is. Actual time. Uh, 5:35. Oh, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's speed up. Okay. <laughs> so Sharpay. Knowing that Troy is like iffy about money right now, mm -hmm. is like come to dinner with me and my parents. Yes, and if or and like they'll give you a spot on the Albuquerque University basketball team yeah. or something if you just literally sing the, the talent Hall. show with me or whatever. Yeah, so it, it Sharpay was, keeps helping so him. Weird. I'm not seeing what she's doing wrong. No, but listen, I'm not though. seeing. Listen, it. because her her choice of words is very manipulative. It is. So yeah. one, she convinces her parents to hire them. Um, um, Troy and his boy, whatever his name is, I forget. The <laughs> one Chad. Corbin Blue. Yeah, Chad. And, um, to be like the golf people that care around the golf clubs mm -hmm. or whatever. The caddies. So, the what? Caddies. Yes. And then they, like, follow them around. And then this whole time, like, Sharpay's gassing up Troy to her dad so that, um, he'll be like, oh, wow, like, you're really good at this, blah, blah, blah. And she's constantly trying to like slide in his DMs, even though they're clearly closed. He has a girlfriend, <laughs> and she knows her, which is all the more grungy. And um, then she invites him to dinner, and he's like, "Oh, shouldn't I be like serving you?" And then they're like, "Oh no, sit down." And then here's the choice words that she uses that manipulate the heck out of him is when she's like, "You'll sing with me, though, promise." And then it's like. She never said when, and now he can't do the um, talent show with the staff because mm -hmm. the staff have their own talent show piece. Yeah. So now she manipulated him into doing the that, show that, with that, her. That, that's mildly. And that specific yeah. piece. Because then, okay, so Sharpay mm -hmm. gets him to sing with her. Yeah. Whatever. So then Ryan's like on his feelings mm -hmm. because <laughs> Sharpay don't need me now, yeah. and so cute. I don't dance. Yes. Um, 
Best song that ent- best song this entire this series. We need Brand to have this conversation. And he's like yeah. angry and he's like yelling and then, he's like, Let's and then Gabrielle is like, yo, please. chill out. And then him and Chad are I'm like, sorry, but am I the only person who like during gym is playing that in my head when we sure. play baseball? I don't dance. I know you can't. <laughs> and, um him and Gabriella get close and he convinces everyone to like do like the group performance mm-hmm. for the show. Um Troy gets promoted, like you were saying, to mm-hmm. the golf caddy. Um It's a promotion? Speak. Yeah, yeah he... before they were like in the back. Mm-hmm. They were in the kitchen. Same, yeah. same difference, but okay. No, very much not. Okay. Yeah, it's way more money. Yeah, they're like with the rich people now. Yeah. Oh, okay. When they were like in the back. They get to breathe, <laughs> they get to breathe the same they were, like, air like Yeah. Cool. Okay. So then he doesn't get to see Gabriella that much anymore. Um, then he gets, makes no sense. He sees Gabriella and Ryan like being around each other and he is like fuming. Yeah. Like, Which is calm like. Down. Gabriella, who's Gabriella? And... Sharpay's brother. And yeah. Evan and who, who sees brother. them? Troy. Which is like, like... And he's mad at Ryan. Yeah! That's the gag. <laughs> Ryan! Obviously, there's not a button. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah. So then, he gets angry and gets in a fight with Chad, because Chad is like, you abandoned all your friends, and Troy's like, I'm just doing me, or whatever. Or whatever. <laughs> he's, trying to, he's trying to get out the project. Why? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Out. So then Sharpay discovers um, that they're doing like the group thing, mm-hmm. and asks the manager to to ban members yes, to tell them to tell them that only members can can participate in like, it what and not staff like okay that was out of pocket on Sharpay's part yes. that was out of pocket I that still, was just manipulating feel, but she's still brother. done the least wrong in this entire show I feel <laughs> I would say that in High School Musical 1. I don't know about High School Musical 2. Yeah, okay. in High School Musical 2, because she's the active antagonist. In High School Musical antagonist. 2, everyone is being affected by the things she's doing. Yes. yes. She's actively being the antagonist. But at the end of the day, she just likes a boy. I'm not, I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I feel for her. <laughs> so then Gabrielle and Sharpay have a little confrontation. Gabrielle is like, I'm leaving. You and never so, try to get your like homies crew fired because you like somebody? <laughs> Troy tries to get her to change her mind. Gabrielle's like, no, gotta go my own way. Yeah. Here's the thing with that song. Didn't Troy drive them there? Where is she going? Because <laughs> they drove together. He what? has the keys. Giving me very much plot so. holes. You I can't leave without she him. Just, I think she just started walking and never looked back. Like, <laughs> like, I'm, just, I'm just going. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like, also, can we talk about, so they got like strikes. So like they messed up. And oftentimes they would be like, Troy would be like, oh my God, like, no, it's my fault. Don't mm-hmm. penalize um, Gabriella. But at the same time, though, Gabriella agreed to it. So it's like, sure. that's iffy. But then also, if you knew that, that was going to be penalized, don't do Why it, Troy. There? Why you're, are you there? You're literally being an idiot right now. Like, he literally, like, the manager literally was like, you cannot swim in this pool. Even if it's after hours, you mm-hmm. cannot swim in this pool. And he was like, let's go on a pool swimming date. Girl, no. <laughs> literally stop. Like, you can't just be in the, in the golfing um like in the golfing whatever it's called like lane whatever and then they were and then he was like oh let's go on a date like out in the grass where they golf and, like we get hit with balls you know you're <laughs> like, in trouble like <laughs> so then troy returns to work and none of his friends talk to him and he's like in his feelings and it's like yes. you literally just like had a uh it, you and chad just had a fight like yeah. you, know I mean? you expect people to talk to you then kelsey so it's just the thing about mr mr the manager. Mm-hmm. Kelsey's um, a plot device. She's not an like, actual Yeah, character. we can't even True. perform in the thing. And then Troy's like, yo, that's low-key messed up. He's like, yeah. I don't. He's um, like, that sucks, guys. So, <laughs> and then he's like, that's terrible. <laughs> he's like, yikes. And he like thinks about himself. And then like, cue bet on it. I'm not really Bet on it is the second best bet song. Bet on it is in my Bet on it is, is truly amazing. amazing. But I'm, not, I'm not understanding the, the transition between... The amount of times I've performer, looked in a pool and swiped the water and started yeah. singing Venom. I think because he was like, oh, like, I'll fix this for you guys. Like, don't worry. Okay. What, and then... I could see that. Which is kind of like, I understand what you're going for, but also, like, he didn't even end up really fixing anything. He didn't he do anything. Said, I'm not... What did he say? I just, he was, I just, he I just like, like the I'm man, not I'm like, I just like the, Sharpay. I'm a man yeah. on a mission he literally, vibes. Okay, it's he giving me... himself. He goes back yeah. to the kitchen. To the kitchen job. And then he... He just goes to Sharpay because they're not singing with you. Yeah. <laughs> and apologizes to Chad. And Troy's really been very out of pocket yeah. this entire movie. Which is, like, it's so weird. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Um, I think, yeah, I don't even, Troy funny really thing didn't is, do anything. Funny thing is, he was jealous of Ryan. Ryan's the only one not wiling out. 
Only one. True. Only he one. He is such a chill character. Like, mm-mm. Mr. Evans. <laughs> so then they convince him to sing the talent show with... Okay, they convince uh, Troy to sing the talent show, and he's like, only if you guys do it with me or something. I forget mm-hmm. how he got them to be able to do it anymore. I don't know. Uh, moving forward, day of the talent show, Ryan's like, hey, Troy, sing with Sharpay. And then last minute, every day starts. And mm-hmm. it's Gabrielle. Every day, every yeah. day is my favorite And she just ending. randomly comes Person. back. Comes no one ever in. said sorry to her. Which, like, <laughs> there was never like, oh, she, we wish you didn't leave. Yeah, okay. she just came back. Okay, that, that, like, is a, that is a small nah, move for nah, nah. <laughs> like, But it's still an amazing song. And an amazing scene. Yeah. But you have Troy in the all-white. You have Gabrielle walking up. The, it's very mm-hmm. nice. I, I like how it's set up. Mm-hmm. That closing number, all for one. Kind of lackluster. Kind of pointless. Was it? Well, Miley Cyrus is in it. Miley Cyrus <laughs> so, is in it, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it was kind of lackluster. But mm-hmm. is it Ross Lynch in it too? Mm-hmm. Or no, Lynch? Ross Lynch was in um, a Miley Cyrus music video. Mm. Really? Yeah. Which one? I don't remember. I just remember that he gets Okay, there. moving on quickly to High School Musical 3. Opens Wildcats beats their rival, the West High Knights. Um, now or Never. I don't even remember that song that well. High School Musical 3 is so a nice. very so un- un- unmemorable. <laughs> mm-hmm. The only two songs I like from that are, not even Scream, The Boys Are Back. Only good song. See, I, I, like the, I like it's The Boys Are Back, confusing. but also I, I couldn't, I I couldn't tell you the plot of 3. I Want It All I Want It All is... I couldn't that, tell you the plot, the, thing, of three. the plot of three is so all over it's the place. It's very loose. Yes, there's like 17. They were like, we need a we need a trilogy, but we have no ideas. Yeah. So there was like basically the premise of that is again, it's a musical about a musical, and then they were like, it's our last year, and they had no show. <laughs> so okay, but I think this one, the musical was called like yeah, senior, senior year. year. So the so the whole cast. Um, as Miss Jarvis planned out, she was like, guys, you randos that don't even like doing musical True theater enough. are going to be the stars of the show. Once so again, then driving your program into the ground. Yes, all the show, all the songs that you see like in the musical are featured in the musical that they do <clears throat> like in that, the movie. Like actual songs. Yes. So oh. it, it's so weird. So the show, the entire show is about making musical. musical. Imagine, out repeating, of, the plot, out of, out of imagine repeating the plot of your first movie. Yes. Miss Darvis is like, no one's signing up for the musical. So then Kelsey goes and signs everyone up. Yes. Oh, literally. Oh she stays driveless. She oh starts right. Re- like, she just she literally writes like, a bunch of people's names. Kelsey yeah. and Darcy are not likable people. Yeah. Then, Simply because she didn't want Sharpay to be the lead again. She was like, okay, um, Gabriella, Troy, Chad. What has Sharpay like, done wrong, then, though? Okay, Miss Darvis yeah. is like, okay, someone's going to get a scholarship from Juilliard or whatever. Yes. Um, Which is so rare. Ain't none of them good for Juilliard. Yes. What? Um, and none so Sharpay is like, I want it. But she knows that Troy and Gabriella will probably get the best songs written by Kelsey. Yes. So she's like, write get me, I want it all, yeah. basically. She's, yeah, so she's just like, get rid of Gabriella in any way that I can. So and that I can make that the, British. The the, the British, British girl in. yeah, the British in like uh, exchange student. She comes in. She's like, I'm from London, and then <laughs> so, like, I do not remember that. She's, I didn't either. She's some random night. girl. Can you can you do the rest of this podcast in your British accent? No. <laughs> so I okay, we'll get to this later. But I <laughs> I did a poll on my private story on Insta on Snapchat to see what people's feelings about it were, mm-hmm. and my one friend who's like British, um, he was like High School Musical three because the British girl. I said, no, what she's British the worst girl? character. <laughs> I literally said, what British girl? <laughs> and who was like her? And I was like, I, th- she's not there. Like, she's not registering. Like, not yeah, no, movie. like, not only is she irrelevant, she's also just, like, not a good character. She has, like, this is not remember. She has this evil villain all. arc where she had this whole, like, master plan to take over Sharpay's place. Like, to be the um, president of the, like, thespian club or whatever. And to like steal her role in the current musical, so she's like, she's like, oh, I'm this like um, exchange student, and I'm here to be your servant to Sharpay. It was honestly just like a badly executed like, like it made no sense attempt at like. Uh, I don't even I don't it even know no what sense. they were trying. To I do don't know that. what yeah. the point of the, the movie was. Okay, no, but then. Um, Kelsey writes, I want it all, somewhere, Sharpay meets the British girl, um, now we're on a rooftop, mm-hmm. Troy asks Gabrielle to prom, can I have this dance, such a good song, that such song a I good respect, song. I respect High School Musical 3 for that song, mm-hmm. um, then they're at musical pro- practice, they're practicing A Night to Remember, 
This this is Which what is confused me. Number. This is what confused me because it's like prom night in that thing, but then they're also preparing for prom like in their yes. lives. So that's imagine it's, it's that, not like, it's Inception, yeah. Yeah. but in High School Musical. Yeah. Uh, Kelsey and Ryan practice their song. This is the weirdest part of the whole movie. Ryan asked Kelsey to prom. Which is, is like, what? come on, we what? know. Sure. I feel like sure. Sure. Imagine, imagine, sure. You imagine know. fronting for the world to see. Okay. Yeah, it, it didn't make any sense. It don't like make we. Know, your hat no. is sideways. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever helps me sleep at night. Like, Gabrielle gets into Stanford, and Sharpay's little British thing hears and mm -hmm. and tells Sharpay, and then Troy is, and Sharpay tells Troy, you're holding. Gabriella back, and you need to make her go to Stanford. Mm -hmm. um, so that, so that's that been true could, for this entire series. So that she Am could wrong? steal her role in the musical. Yeah, but just she, she, role. but mm -hmm. she's not wrong. In between these things, the boys are back happens because Troy and Chad are like, oh, childhood. Be best, mm -hmm. best team of song of all time. <laughs> um, I like Little Boy Be a Man, but that trumps it in every possible way. Sharpay convinces Troy. Um, Troy convinces Gabriella to leave. Gabriella up and leaves the next, the very next day. School Stop ain't even God. over she, yet. She yeah, because school she, ain't so even she over got, yet. She got into like an orientation for twenty, mm. no, thirty freshmen, um, to Stanford to basically do like a like a pre freshman like, whatever class. A freshman mixer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was like very elite. Like only the top of the top could get into it, and she managed to get in, and then like it's so weird because. She goes and she just up is like, oh whatever the musical, oh well. She just her all her commitments in yes. Albuquerque. <laughs> like, exactly. She just and then Sharpay's like, Queen, like now I'm Gabriella, and then her little Sharpay's little intern steals her role, like Sharpay's role, and then um, Sharpay's like, well, you don't have any talent. You're from London, and really? then she's like, yes, the London Academy. <laughs> I like how you look like, how you conflated those two things. Like you have no talent because you're from London. Like, like <laughs> a talented. I had never seen a talented Brit. Yeah. Always one of them. Like, <laughs> And then she's like, well, I'm from the London Academy of the Arts, so actually, I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> she Thank said, you. not the beans on toast. <laughs> <laughs> they left. So then, uh, Troy and his dad have a fight. Oh, yeah, because Troy's dad's literally living through him. And mm -hmm. it, it's like, problematic, yeah. It's, like, I just wanna it's an issue. There's so, so much screen. to unpack. We like, <laughs> literally have a lot to unpack. Then Scream happened. Mm -hmm. um, the third, the third movie should have just been an exploration like that. Like, just... Um, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Psychiatry sessions? Because like none of them knew therapist like, sessions. None of them knew yeah. what they were gonna do with their lives. Like actually, they were all genuinely, very genuinely did not know. They didn't yeah. know until like the last. Like one. even Gabriella, <laughs> who even Gabriella who got into Stanford, like which had is, had which a plan. Which is weird because most of your applications like, were due several months ago. A while ago. Girl. How are you deciding yes. now? So then, so could weird. it could it be they're all, they're already asking for my major? Like like mm -hmm. we talked about earlier, Miss Jarvis was lurking in the shadows. <laughs> When <laughs> she's back. As she does. Yeah, when Troy was doing Scream, and then um, Troy was like, I'm just so conflicted, and she was like, well, I submitted your thing to Juilliard. Yeah, <laughs> by, because he, like, weirdly got, like, accepted to be, like, an applicant for yeah. Juilliard for this scholarship. It was Sharpay, These people Ryan, are just, like, Kelsey they're kind of just stumbling into success. Exactly. Yes. I wish I could do Which that. Which is they're so weird because, for me. exactly, they're because mediocre. they're not that good. The only one who's you really that mediocre. good is... Um, they're Ryan and, and Kelsey, like oh. they're like. Anyway, so then, um, oh yeah. So then, next day, Gabrielle calls and she's like, "I'm not coming back." <laughs> Literally. Oh yeah. Like, I'm just not coming back. She's like, "No." <laughs> Is school not over what? yet? She's like, that I'm is my not question. Coming back for prom, I'm not coming back for the musical. So figure it out. Does and she? Mm -hmm. like, Yo, here. Okay, theory. She <laughs> wanted in-state tuition, so she decided to stay. <laughs> no, she <laughs> didn't do that. So then. She literally breaks up with him. Isn't it just like you live there for six or, weeks and you're considered No, they, they don't break up, so... I think we we'll just take a break, kind of. Yeah, so she's like, oh, I miss you guys so much, but I can't deal with not being, like... I can't deal with not being around you guys and then coming Which back was, and then wasn't not that being your decision? around you guys. And I'm like, as someone who's in a long-distance relationship, get over yourself. <laughs> Stop. It, no, you can do it. One. Two. Um, this is the weirdest part for me. Because, like, she's on the phone or whatever, she hangs up, and then it's, like, a new scene. Um, and then Troy just shows up at Stanford. At Stanford! He just shows... And which they is start it, dancing. Where is Stanford? Isn't that in Cali? Yeah. This... 
He just man's, he flies book, man's there. booked it in no, one day. Yeah, like, because all of a sudden it's prom day. So yes. Has it been a chunk of time or was prom literally, literally tomorrow? So he so he <laughs> flies there and then I assume he's that like, summer job he had in the last movie to play for his painting. <laughs> literally. Yeah. So he's like, Hey girl, so prom is wherever you are, like whatever. I did like it's, that it's scene. I, I do like that scene. Yeah. I do like it's that scene. It's cute. And that then we have the little like reprise about mm-hmm. like dancing with you or whatever. And so that's cute. But then he manages to fly back in time for the second half of the musical, <laughs> which is the, the craziest part. He misses part. the first half, which is like, so you didn't think that through, you're the At lead. All. Exactly. And you, <laughs> and you left. And but he comes back with Gabriella. And then he had that freaking, I think it was like a freshman guy, but he had like the cringiest <laughs> freshman who thought he was the best. <laughs> so and bad. Like, even if you, even if like you're a freshman, if you're an upperclassman, you know that person who comes in and they're like, I'm better than you. I'm ready. I'm taking the role of the seniors oh, next yeah. year. You um, don't even know what's going on. We have somebody like that here. Her name's Leo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not the fighting words. <laughs> I did not come and think about okay, that. Okay, anyway, but, moving on. Okay, so then yes. Kelsey and Ryan. Ooh, can we get a time trigger? I'm seeing more and more people walk in. It's 5.53. We'll leave. Oh, okay. Kelsey and Ryan uh, start the show, and then Gabriella and Troy come back, and they eat up the second part um, <laughs> yes and they they're... redid the number that sharpay and what's his name just did that was so terrible they redid it yes right, it was bad it's they still... redid the scene the people who are watching these musicals are not having good experiences okay. yeah so then... and the juilliard people are like oh no. <laughs> <laughs> their the reactions are so funny oh my can we begin to say that <laughs> yes they're like the that <laughs> <laughs> they're like that's Actually, troy i think we have like, the wrong address <laughs> Oh my god! And then at the end of the musical, Kelsey um, and Brian end up getting the scholarships. Yes. And then Troy is like, "I'm gonna go to Berkeley," which I don't understand how he got it. Which? I don't yes. When did you submit your pre screen Not like, only I'm that, but he never, he does not show the intellect in and any he, class. And he's dual majoring. Get into, he's dual exactly. majoring mm-hmm. in basketball. Did you say dual majoring? Dual whatever. He doesn't have to do. He just plays basketball there and studies okay he's studying studying music and he plays basketball basketball. which he could have done it but when did he get scouted okay but it don't make sense how he got into either either the music school or even how he exactly which he implies he would have had to audition because you can't just take up music you have to audition for it so it's like, how did how did this happen? And then he's like, I want a realistic movie about senior like, year that focuses on you, like starting your common app, filling out your information, <laughs> yes. getting depressed because you feel like you've done nothing with four sure, years, yes. stopping for three months, then going back because you feel <laughs> this is due the next day. Yeah, that would be realistic. So the movie ends it, graduation ceremony. Can we talk about how weird that was? Because they had a graduation at the end of the at the end of the like show, and then it was like. Miss Darbus up there pretending that she's the principal, like, oh, um, blah, I forget. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, it's so weird. I don't understand. Why did Troy make that speech? Why? Why did he the valedictorian? He was. Or... Was he? There was no was way. He valid- there's he no, could never be because no Gabrielle way. exists. Sorry, but the um, lead of the musical, listen, Taylor McKessie Taylor. exists. Taylor McKessie, yes. The lead Stand of the musical her. doesn't just get to start making speeches places. Exactly. Like, not that because you're make because you're lead in the musical. That doesn't yeah, give I'm you proud. because he because you're captain of the basketball team. Irrelevant. You have no <laughs> academic so I don't prowess. Even th- to be honest, I don't think I don't even think you're good at basketball. Exactly. Because we've never and seen also, it's it's very strange that. Um, he only went to Berkeley because it was in proximity to Stanford, to Stanford. which is so weird because what? if you do that, the likelihood what? that you guys are going to end up breaking up anyway, regardless uh, of you being high school sweethearts, is uh, so high. You're still toxic. I gotta okay. go. Like, you could have easily stayed okay. in New Mexico. Very fast, I did back to my little poll on Snapchat, basically. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, this was your research for this episode, yeah, Snapchat. No, no, polls. I did some other research, but <laughs> I just wanted to ask the general population. Um, and I thought my friends had taste, right? <laughs> um, they were like the first one. People are really saying whatever they want about like the high school yeah. schools, and I'm like, so don't state your opinion unless it's correct. What, 21 <laughs> people on my private story, 18 responded, so three people are fake. <laughs> I literally said I need 100% participation in this, and three people did not respond. I'm like, you guys know I can see your name. Like, yeah. Whatever. Six said High School Musical 1 was the best. Mm-hmm. Um, with, I got a special mention that the boys are back needs to be recognized. And I got another mention that Good taste. her favorite was Good actually taste. two, but the gallivanting 
in bed on it made her not like it as much. Mm. So one. I, I like the kind of exploration that happened in there. I do too. Eight people said High School Musical 2 as they should have. I said you have the correct answer actually. <laughs> correct. Um, and then three people said High School Musical 3. Um, as number one? Yeah. <laughs> so one of them was because not the she solely wrong. liked yes. Can I Have This Dance. One of them mm-hmm. was because of the British girl. Mm-hmm. And then one of them was just because she's been listening to High School Musical 3 more. So that's none, all of, spend your time none of them are necessary. Imagine wasting yeah. hours of your life. Exactly wow. Exactly. Yeah. I, I think the order is two one three. I agree. Two one three. Yeah. It is two one three. Can we agree on that? Two one three. So two, the one, general three. fan consensus um, on Reddit <laughs> is that <laughs> you did Reddit research. Two is the best. Wow. Mm-hmm. Is the general. Two, I mean, two, two also had the most views. It has it's the most mm-hmm. viewed. It had seventeen critical, million views because it was released reviews, in theaters. Eighty-two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. One and three got sixty-three percent. The soundtracks. Two debuted at number one on Billboard mm. Top As it should have. Mm. As it should have. Um, Production. <laughs> and my thing about comparing three with the other two is that three was in theater, so we can't really compare to the production value because yeah, obviously Yeah, three they had a even way looks budget. different. Yeah. I, was, uh, I was watching it yeah, on Yeah, they Disney pulled up with Plus. different cameras. Yes, they did. Different cameras, not as grainy. Yeah. It looked like I was <laughs> in real you, life. You look at it and you, you're like, oh, Budget. Wow. Yeah, I was like, so that's oh. Why when, like, when we talk about this, I, I feel like you can make the statement that the real debate is between one and two, and three can kind of be pushed to the side. Yeah. Because of like the plot holes and stuff, but also mm-hmm. just because of. It's not the same. It's not. Yeah, it's not, not in the same, same universe. Level. We also get to see like such like different variety in two that you don't get to see. Like mm-hmm. it's a new set. We got like new a new way of thinking because they're not in school. And I feel like we've truly answered the question. Soundtrack 1 was certified double platinum in the, f- in the first week. Oh, High School Musical 2. Mm. It's soundtrack was certified double platinum. Yeah. First week. Right. Mm. How are we doing on like, time for the podcast? It's 5.59, and we've got 51 minutes. 51 minutes. Wow, we're giving Smith a really hard time. Oh, but I, feel like every, I feel like every minute of this podcast is worth putting in. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right. So final Let's thoughts. Wrap it up. Final thoughts. Let's yeah. go around the table. Hannah, starting with you. High School Musical 2 is the best because it has the best bops and um, the plot stays together. Yes. Leo. There's actually a uh, steady plot in High School Musical 2, but there's so much more to unpack in these movies. And Kayla Lynn Cassie. Oh, not the full name. <laughs> um, there's consistency. There's The music is just... It, it's on another level. Like, like, there's so much variety in the type of music versus in... High School Musical 1 is giving you very much show tunes. High mm. School Musical 2 has everything. Like, it has it's dynamic. Everything. It's dynamic. Mm-hmm. Um, the message, making life decisions, money, it's very relatable. It's a teachable moment. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, so. I think it's, and it's complex. I like the plot. Yeah, that is true. So I'm yes. going to go High School Musical 2 on this one. So can we put Cornfield Education, Episode 2, High School Musical, title left to be determined in <laughs> yeah. the books. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Another uh, episode. Yeah. So tell us what your favorite high school musical is. Yes. Um, as you correct answers as you, only. Correct answers. Correct only. Please. If you think I don't want to. I don't want to lose my respect for you. If you think it's High School Musical one, you probably haven't watched the other two. Yeah. Like that's all I have to say. If you think <laughs> it's High School Musical three, you're on culture. Yeah. If you watch, if you think it's High School Musical three, you need to get that fixed. Yeah. <laughs> I face like that. Yeah. I would visit yes. that. Um, all right. Uh, thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you next week with another episode. Bye. Goodbye.